welcome to our channel circuits analytica in this video we will be discussing 10 multiple choice questions from the subject linear integrated circuits an instrumentation amplifier is basically a difference amplifier so the correct answer is option number two which of the following is a transconductance amplifier a voltage to current converter is called as a transconductance amplifier so the correct answer is option number three Minimum output voltage of an ideal integrator is zero. In an integrator, output voltage is taken across the capacitor. So at very high frequencies, capacitance acts as a short circuit and voltage across the capacitance becomes zero in the case of an ideal integrator. So minimum output voltage of an ideal integrator is zero. So the correct answer is second option. The output voltage of an ideal differentiator at high frequencies is plus or minus Vsat. So the correct answer is second option. For an ideal differentiator, gain is expressed as minus rf divided by xc1 where rf is the resistance connected between output and inverting input of the operational amplifier and xc1 is the reactance of the capacitance which is connected between inverting input and input signal at very high frequencies capacitive reactance becomes zero so gain of an ideal differentiator at very high frequencies is equal to minus rf divided by xc1 which is equal to zero at very high frequencies capacity reactance becomes zero so gain of the ideal differentiator at high frequencies is equal to infinity so depending upon the polarity of the input signal Output voltage will be either plus Vsat or minus Vsat. So the correct answer is plus or minus Vsat. Second option. Feedback in an unstable multi vibrator using op amp is both positive and negative feedback. So a part of the output voltage of the op amp is fed to the non-inverting input of the operational amplifier and uh, a part of the output voltage is fed to the inverting input of the operational amplifier through the timing components R and C. So both positive and negative feedback exist in an unstable multivibrator using operational amplifier. So the correct answer is option number three. Feedback in a combinator circuit is neither positive nor negative. Correct answer is option number four. In a combinator, the operational amplifier is in open loop configuration. The open loop configuration of an operational amplifier is called as a combinator. So, in a combinator, there is neither positive feedback nor negative feedback. the output voltage of a zero crossing detector if its input is a triangular wave is the correct answer is a square wave which is not given in any of these options so here the correct answer is none of this so a zero crossing detector is basically a comparator where one of the inputs of the operational amplifier is connected to ground and 
a signal is applied to the other input of the operational amplifier. Whenever the signal crosses the zero line, output voltage of the operational amplifier changes. And we know that in a comparator, output voltage changes between plus Vsat and minus Vsat. So when a triangular wave is applied to one of the two inputs of the operational amplifier with other input connected to ground, output voltage switches between plus Vsat and minus Vsat and uh, on time is same as the off time. So output is a square wave. So here that option is not given. So none of this is the correct answer. In a Schmidt trigger type of feedback is regenerative feedback or positive feedback. So in a Schmidt trigger the type of feedback is a positive feedback. A part of the output voltage is fed to the non-inverting input of the operational amplifier. So the type of feedback is a positive feedback. So the correct answer is option number one. In an unstable multi-vibrator using op-amp, if supply voltage is plus or minus 15 volt, output voltage swings between plus Vsat and minus Vsat is the correct answer. Where plus Vsat is slightly less than plus 15 volt and minus Vsat is slightly greater than minus 15 volt. Say for example, if plus Vcc and minus Vee is equal to plus 15 and minus 15 volt respectively, the output voltage will be switching between plus 14 volt and minus 14 volt. So the correct answer is second option plus Vsat and minus Vsat. In a phase shift oscillator using op amp, gain of the amplifier block is minus 29. So the correct answer is minus 29, last option. Thanks for watching Circuits Analytica. Enjoy learning.